WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup for the 4 p.m. stock market update. I am filling in for Tom. He should be back next week. Let's take a look right now where we're shaking out. This is at the close. The E mini uh, trading at 5,130. Uh, the Russell futures at 2013. NQ 17,844, up 1.57%. Uh, the Dow futures up 0.39%. And that gold contract just a little bit sideways at 2,351. Copper at $4.57. Now, again, I was saying earlier, Larry had his live trading and we were looking at uh, some of these contracts and it was pretty cool and a good time. So I really recommend checking that out. That is on the services tab of TFNN and also on the front page. Make sure you use that code Larry Live to save $50 off for as long as you subscribe. Silver at $27.52. Crude oil, pick him a little bit back up at $83.66. Uh, you have some of the bonds going down a little bit. That's kind of to be expected with some of the uh, reports that came out. Uh, Tesla up at 160, excuse me, down at 168.07, off about 1.24%. And then Steel Dynamics doing quite a weird little move at uh, 134.04. And then that dollar right under 106. Let's see where Google ended up today at 173.69, up nearly 10%. Uh, Meta just kind of lagging along here. And the SPY, of course, we went through the E-mini, but we're at 508 uh, in the SPY. Let's take a look here at an interesting news article. Well, first, let's just say Blinken is meeting with Xi Jinping of China to try to work through some differences and have them end support for Russia, which will be super fascinating, although I don't think that will happen because China needs so much oil, and they're going to get that from Russia. Uh, but I thought this was interesting, that many large U.S. cities are in deep financial trouble, one of the notes said, the estimate comes in higher than the one quoted by New York City Comptroller Brad Lander, who says the Big Apple has a public debt burden of roughly $96 billion. That's $30 billion shy of the city's debt limit. Clearly, there are more capital needs across the U.S. This is a lot of this due from inflation as well. The financial challenges within cities appear to be mounting despite high municipal credit ratings and robust demand for urban commodities like housing. Uh, for example, New York City had a total public debt of $177 billion at the end of the fiscal year of 2022. According to the research from a nonprofit with the University of Denver. Interesting. I'll link this in the den so you guys can read more of it. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we will be back Monday. Uh, we'll see who's filling in for Tommy. Uh, Tommy might be back as well. Uh, and then we have usual programming, and Tom will be with you guys at three. Thank you very much, and have a great weekend.